to go to Sugarloaf, but uh, they were closed. I didn't know they were closed Tuesdays and Wednesdays, but they're opening up tomorrow, so we'll probably come back up here. But right now we're going to head to uh, Christ the Redeemer and a couple other different stops. Because once upon the time, there was a lot of uh, boys who uh -huh. used to have uh, Brazil. Pleasure. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, the favela finish. of pleasure. But, yeah. Check it out. <laughs> and 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 uh, eventually there was no more boys, but the name stayed. Yeah. <laughs> so you cannot change it. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. I love the history, man. Anything like that's cool. But it's, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. And you see, it's big. It's 60,000 people living in this favela. They 60, paid millions of dollars. 60,000 people in this favela. Wow. Amazing. Are you listening to all that? The drug dealers, I guess, basically in charge of the favela, live at the very top. You have to go slowly with the car, put the lights. And the so they, don't, they don't fuck around up there, huh? You cannot fuck around in the favelas. <laughs> Never, ever. Uh, this is such a beautiful country. It is. You see from here, of course you cannot see. We just bought our tickets to uh, Christ the Redeemer. So once you get your pass, they take your photo. And then you walk down this path right here and you get in one of those buses and then it takes you up to Christ the Redeemer. And yes, you do have to wear your mask, which sucks. Who the hell wants to wear their mask in this hot ass weather here? Not me, that's for sure. But it is what it is, you know? We have the pandemic, we gotta roll with it. And yes, I know I'm not wearing my mask properly. So I guess, uh, well, that's what we get. Well, I guess we're going to the next van. It's one of these. It's hard to communicate here a little bit, so. Yeah. Look at this, we got the air conditioning, full blast, that's what I'm talking about. made it. We're walking up to Christ the Redeemer right now. We just took the last bus ride all the way up here. And these masks suck. They want you to wear a mask the whole time. Oh, check out this view, man. It's badass. It's a little cloudy up here, so, you know, it kind of sucks. 
but it is what it is. You know, you can't really do nothing about the weather. And when you're only here for like the next day or two, you gotta take what you can get. But check it out, man. Is that beautiful or what? This country is just amazing. Oh, look at that. There it is. See the back of it. Oh shit, we got a monkey in the tree. Check it out. I heard they like to jump down from the trees and take people's stuff. Hey. I don't know if that's true, but I don't want to find out. Have a monkey get a hold of my GoPro. <laughs> That'd be some great footage of. Check that out, man. That is awesome. Jeez, there's all kinds of monkeys up here. staying off until somebody yells at me. I do not feel like putting that thing back on, man. Fuck that. Oh, here we go. I'm a bit hungover, man. So I'm not feeling talkative at all. This is actually a struggle right now. <laughs> See, this is what you come for right here. These are all the steps that leads up to Christ the Redeemer, the Holy God of Gods. You know, I don't even know the altitude up here. I wonder what it is. Everything is in meters. And, you know, I can't convert that off the top of my head. Whew. And wow, I just noticed that there's an escalator you could take up. But, you know, I'm a big boy, so I decided to take the stairs. Man, look at that. There he is, boy. Check it out. Christ the Redeemer. And it costs like 33 reals to get up here. That's the tourist price, I guess. It's actually uh, cheaper for locals. Yeah, see, there's a lot of people here, man.
You can't beat that view, boy. I'll let you know in the information below how high this is in feet, not in meters. Look, those go a ways up. I think we have it. We made it. This is Escadaria Celeron, also known as the Celeron Steps. It's a set of world famous steps in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And I guess they're the work of a Chilean born artist named George Celeron. So when George moved to his house, he realized the staircase was in very bad condition. So in 1990, he started to renovate some of the steps in front of his house. And yes, this is a residential neighborhood. And people use that exact staircase daily to get to and from their houses in the favela. So he claimed renovating the stairs as a tribute to the Brazilian people. And when the Celeron steps soon became well known, he started to receive ceramic tiles as gifts from travelers from all over the world, with more than 2,000 tiles from around 60 different countries. And the project lasted from 1990 until 2013 when he was found dead in the famous La Paz Steps. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> See, it's crazy. <laughs> you have, you have uh, tiles from all over the world. It's crazy. Anything. You have everything. Anything. And he did this up to Santa Teresa. You see where we were. Oh, yeah? Uh -huh. So when you go the stairs up to the flag, and you take a, a right and you go up to the, you will be in Santa Teresa. And now we are in Lapa. So you are Lapa. in two sections connected by the stairs. Oh, yeah. That's what makes it so interesting. Because uh, oh, okay. no, no one oh, yeah. does it. Are you going to do the trek up? No. No? Be? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to call you. <laughs> This is cool, man. Some guy built this, put all these tiles on here. Almost forgot I was filming there. Oh, this goes up and to the right as well. I can't imagine doing this whole thing. That's wild. All the street art. <laughs> 